hi guys welcome to my channel thank you for joining me on today's video i'm Anne. this is scent illusions underscore me we talk all about affordable fragrances here so if that's your vibe if that's the kind of thing you like you are in the right place if you love my content please don't hesitate to subscribe like share the video and also click the notification bell to let you know when i post a new video so today we're talking about Udain from Latafa. Let me just open it. So here, this is what the bottle looks like. This is a beautiful bottle. Some intricate detailing at the top. It has a wooden cover. It's not necessarily magnetic opening, but... You know, it's not a magnetic cap, but it will do. It's really pretty. I like the packaging. You know, Latafa will not disappoint when it comes to just packaging their fragrances so that i applaud i like the bottle for the price i think it's good quality now it's interesting how i stumbled upon this because the first time i watched a video about this it was actually a lady a lady's video i can't remember the name now oh i think it's glam finds yes glam finds that was where i watched this video the first time and the way she described it i kind of i kind of got a sense it was a unisex fragrance but i'll say up front that this is actually a masculine fragrance if you're a lady you like masculine fragrances no problem at all but i'm just saying it for those who might want to dabble into it this is a purely masculine leaning fragrance in my opinion so there's no there are no two ways about that let's talk about the notes of this fragrance so i saw the notes on fragrantica and uh, I was happy because sometimes you don't get to see the notes for some of these fragrances. So you kind of have to go with what your nose smells. But I saw some notes. Top notes here, cardamom, bergamot, mint. In the middle, woodsy notes, spicy notes, cinnamon, orange blossom, cumin, lavender. And then at the base, there's sandalwood, tonka bean, vanilla, ambergris, and cedar. However, when I spray this, up front, I'm getting medicinal wood. So it says a blend of two ouds on the pack. I believe that's, I don't know if that's the meaning of oudain, but it says here a blend of two ouds. In terms of how this perfume plays out, I don't really get much oudiness. The only hint of oud I get is that medicinal oud in the opening. The opening gives me hints of Amir Al Oud, because that's another fragrance that I've smelled or that I own that has that medicinal oud smell so i get that you you get that medicinal oud in bakar rouge as well even though i'm not saying that this smells like that but i'm saying that that's the vibe some people call it dentist office vibe so you know that that sort of medicinal smell that you get in perfumes like amir al oud you're going to get it in this one there's a little bit of a citrus hint but it's ever so slight you might miss it if you're not paying attention. But I do get a hint of it in the opening. That might be the bergamot. As this goes along, it definitely gets more woodsy. So this one is going to give you like burning firewood smell. That's what you're going to get from this. It's a, it's a very, very woodsy one. And as it settles, it gives me somewhat leathery Swedish vibes. So that's why I'm saying that this is purely a masculine leaning fragrance because all the facets are sort of consistent with what you find in a masculine perfume. If I were summing up the smell of this, I would say that it is woodsy, leathery with some vanilla accords. That's what it is. It's woodsy, leathery with some vanilla accords. You're going to get medicinal wood as well. That, in summary, is what this is about. Let's talk about performance because this one, in terms of projection, does quite well. So this will fill up a room for, let's say, about an hour and a half or two. When my husband sprays this and he's on the corridor, I'm in my room, I can smell it. So it will fill up a room. I mean, it's not the heaviest projector, but if you overspray this you're, you you could actually 
So you can actually choke yourself because it's quite intense. So yes, some good projection in the first two hours of spraying it. It definitely lasts very long on clothes, especially. This one is going to give you nothing less than eight hours on your clothes. This gives me nothing less than two hours of really good projection on my skin. After which, yes, it settles a bit, but you're going to get hints of it still. This one is one that I've gotten compliments on. Interestingly, interesting. I don't even know. I don't understand how because, uh, but I used it in a different context. So I layered this with camera and fire your desire because I wanted to sweeten things up a bit. I kind of felt like it was too masculine. I already had it on because I was testing it. So I said, okay, let me layer it with camera by Latafa and then fire your desire, Emir Parry Connor. And guys, it turned out really good. To be honest, this perfume is so strong that it sort of swallowed my camera and swallowed Fire Your Desire. But they gave it a little bit more sweetness. And I wore this out and somebody actually said to me that he liked how I was smelling. So, well, I mean, I'll go with the compliment. I'll go with the compliment. But yeah, so obviously it definitely does project. Maybe the layering with those two fragrances also added to its appeal, but just wanted to give you give you that and also give you that layering idea as well. All right, so I've talked about performance. I've talked about the fact that this is more masculine than feminine. I would say though that if you're somebody who likes some sweetness in a fragrance, you might not get that from this because this is hardcore woods, leather, you know, slightly unmallet vibes. I don't know that somebody who likes sweetness in their perfumes would like this. But if you like, you know, those heavy hitting woody perfumes, then you might like this one. I kind of feel personally that if you have this, then maybe you don't need a mirror out because both of them give me the same vibes. So this just feels like Amir Al Oud, but maybe with some more smoky woodiness. That's how I see it. A good perfume. I love to smell it on my husband. He layers this with ragba wood intense. So it becomes just like a puff of woody sweet smoke. I really like that smell on him. He does layer it with ragba wood intense and it works for him. Yeah, so that's it. That's pretty much it about this perfume. It would be very good on a man. I feel like a man wearing this will smell really sexy. In terms of when you can wear this, I would say that this is purely a cold, cool weather perfume. So fall, winter, yeah, that, that's it. Or maybe a cool summer evening. But I will definitely not wear this in the high heat because it would get cloying, might choke you out. This is purely strictly... A cold weather perfume in my opinion i would also say that this one might be more suited to i can't i think i feel like you can wear this to work you can wear this to work actually but of course you might need to be, go easier on the sprays i feel like this is appropriate for work for a man or for somebody who likes masculine leaning perfumes i feel like uh this however will do very well in a party setting because it would get you noticed so yeah that would be it so let me know if you have Udain by Latafa let me know if it's something that you've tried or if you like it these are my opinions if I were rating this I'll give it a strong 7.5 over 10 because it's very good especially for the price can't remember how much I paid but in Nigerian Naira I couldn't have paid more than 10,000 or 11 thousand naira for this so for that price it's quite good yeah all right guys so thank you so much for watching if you did until i see you again on another video enjoy the rest of your day or night bye